ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Watch Addiction Watch Reviews. Today we're going to take a look at a affordable brand that is uh, designed uh, in Australia, and they're based in Australia. This is Watches 11. Uh, they produce some pretty neat watches, and this is one of the Elite series I'll show you right now. I actually have another one of their watches I'll be reviewing in a couple weeks from now, but this is one of their models I'm going to show you. I've already took off the plastic and tested it out. As you can see, it is a chronograph, if I get you in there. And it's a pretty neat looking chronograph. It obviously has that nice Bauhaus uh, design, as you can see. A nice white dial as well. A pretty comfortable strap. And uh, let me take it off this little cushion here and let's get into it. As you can see in front of you, this is the Elite Series. Uh, there are a few different series uh, that this company offers. And I will show you one of the other series in the coming weeks from now. Anyway, some basic uh, specifications on this watch. So we're looking at a silver plated solid 316L stainless steel case, which is pretty much highly polished all around. Uh, the case cut is pretty good, as you can see here, a nice uh, short stumpy lugs there, a very circular dial. As you can see that nice Bauhaus design on that white dial there. The case is 44 millimeters, but it definitely wears much smaller on the wrist, considering the lugs are very short. It's very circular and plants itself directly on the wrist when on when on the wrist. Uh, the watch is only 12.5 millimeters thick. As you can see, we have a pull and push crown, about 30 meters of water resistance. The crown is also signed with the 11 logo. We get two pushers for the chronograph, uh, one at the 2, one at the 4, and the crown is at the 3 o'clock position, pretty typical of a standard chronograph watch. Uh, the crystal itself is actually a double domed sapphire coated mineral crystal. As you can see, that nice dome there for that nice kind of, kind of like a vintage look they're going for here. As you can see with that pretty typical Bauhaus design, very neat printed on the dial right there. The dial is white and it does feature their logo over at the nine o'clock position, which is pretty cool with that W. And we get two sub dials on this watch. We get our running seconds down at the six o'clock position. And then at the 12 o'clock position, we get our uh, chronograph countdown as you can see there which is 30 minutes and our chronograph hand is there we get two out we get an hour hand and a minute hand which contains loom and that's the only part that's loomed like i said this is not a dive watch this is not you know a diving chronograph this is pretty much more of a dress dressy kind of you know everyday lifestyle watch i would say now the actual movement inside this watch is the ronda swiss made caliber 3520d it's a quartz chronograph movement, so it does tick, uh, but it's a very good movement. The battery life is very long. It's extremely accurate within a couple seconds a month, so would not worry about it. You know, you're getting a Swiss-made Ronda quartz chronograph movement. They're very reliable, very accurate, and widely used in the industry. Uh, the lug width is standard at 22 millimeters, which I think is pretty normal for a 44 millimeter case here. Um, Actually, I did make a mistake. The watch is 50 meters water resistant. I believe I said 30 at the beginning. So we get 50 meters of water resistance on this timepiece. Um, you know, not something to go in the water with. If it, you know, if it's raining, if you're washing your hands, I wouldn't worry about that. Now the date window tucked away at the three o'clock position has a white background. It kind of keeps out of the way of things. It kind of also matches that nice Bauhaus font used on the numerals going around the dial, as well as the zero through 60 railroad over here uh, towards the end of the dial. A very legible watch, a very clean and symmetrical dial. As you can see, the W and the date kind of makes it more symmetrical, as well as the two sub-dials placed at the 12 and 6 o'clock positions. Now, um, this watch, you know, it comes in many different varieties of straps as well. This is a genuine leather and uh, like a suede kind of material here. It's very flexible, like extremely flexible out of the box. It's really actually quite comfortable, and as you see on these... Uh, polished buckle here. We do get the W logo again. We get two keepers here, some stitching up and down. And as you can see, we do get quick release as well. So it's really a breeze to change straps on this watch. Uh, the case back is screwed down. Just state some basic specifications there. All stainless steel. Uh, Ronda Movement Watches 11 Company. As you can see, marked genuine leather there. I do have a couple extra straps that they sent me with the watch, which I will show you. Um, but to actually function this watch, it's very simple. You get these nice piston head style pushers, which are really pleasant on your hands. Easy to push down. As you can see, I'm going to go ahead and start the chronograph there. And everything does line up perfectly, which is always nice to see as well. So the chronograph will run for uh, time up to 30 minutes, which is very useful. Then you can stop it, and then you can reset it, and it sweeps all the way back. Now the crown itself, first position out, we can flip through the uh, quick set date here. Then our final position, you can hack the seconds over here, and we can precisely set the time. 
And that's pretty much all that there is to function this watch. In a couple of years, you'll have to change the battery, and that's pretty much it. Now, I want to go ahead and show you some of the other straps. So with these uh, quick-release straps, they're, you know, pretty much a breeze. You just pop them off, and I'm going to go ahead and pop on a different strap. So as you can see here, I've thrown on this nice NATO-style strap that uh, they included with the watch here. It's actually a really nice and very good quality NATO strap in a nice navy blue color which I think really complements this white dial very nicely. As you can see, signed hardware here as well. The stitching is also very good um, on the strap itself. It's very, it seems to be very comfortable. And uh, let me throw it on my 6.5 inch wrist and show you exactly what it looks like. So there's the watch on the NATO strap, uh, which is actually fits very nice. As you can see, kind of like a pie pan case shape here. It definitely wears very nice and rides quite low on the wrist there. Uh, which I think looks really nice. It's actually really comfortable on this NATO strap. I definitely suggest, uh, you know, ordering one of their NATO straps if you're going to get one of these watches. I think, uh, I think that looks pretty cool. Now they did include another genuine leather strap in a navy blue color. Uh, let's see how that one looks. Now these are the little boxes that these straps actually come in, which I think is they're pretty actually pretty nice and pretty cool. Uh, I believe they're cardboard, but they're very smooth. You have the little logo there, and the strap is inside. It also did come with extra spring bars, uh, which is a nice little. You know, obviously that's very nice of them to do that. Now here is the suede slash leather navy blue strap on the watch, as you can see here. And I think that looks really, really nice with that white dial. I think this one actually looks the best. And yeah, they're very comfortable, these straps. I was quite surprised by their quality of their straps. These are actually very comfortable. And straight out of the box, they're basically broken in already. They're very flexible. As you can see there, rides very nice on the wrist. And definitely fits pretty nice. And here is the watch back on its tan kind of suede uh, leather strap here. Anyway, uh, coming to a conclusion, I think it's a pretty nice looking watch. You know, obviously if you want this kind of Bauhaus style design and you want to pay for something like Young Hands, and it's going to cost you a lot more money, even from some other German brands and this kind of style dial. Uh, this model right here, I believe, costs $342 on their website, which I will link down in the description below if you want to check them out after this video. Um, but I think it's a pretty cool watch. Uh, the quality is definitely there. The finishing is very good, as you can see. There are no blemishes or anything like that. I like that nice domed crystal. And it's just kind of a good, you know, everyday fun watch, uh, something to wear. It looks very kind of, you know, proper and fancy, in my opinion. And definitely, definitely looks very smart. I think it's a pretty decent looking watch. And no quality control issues or anything like that. You're getting a very reliable Swiss made, uh, you know, Ronda Quartz movement. And uh, yeah, I think it's a pretty, you know, decent brand. So let me know what you guys think down in the comment section below, as usual, of the W11 Elite series. And it will get back to you down there. Definitely throw the video a like if you enjoyed it. You can find me at www.watchaddictchannel.com at watch 11 for this brand on their Instagram. You can definitely check them out or me at watch addict channel. I hope to see you guys real soon and hope you enjoyed the video. Bye. <laughs>